Last fall, Kurt painted the whole entire house by himself. By the time it got to the covered deck, I think he pretty much ran out of steam and was like, all right, this can wait because it's covered and it doesn't get much weather. Anyhow, we decided that since we're doing the deck, might as well get this done. Okay, so we got a lot of painting done yesterday and we got the rest of these put up today. And thanks to so much help. Say hi. Hi. This is my husband, Kurt. Ralph. This is my this is my boyfriend Ralph. Kurt's Soon to Kurt's be run gone. Away, Ralph. Run run away, yeah. Why why would you run away? Um too many projects around here. I heard that. I heard. I'm feeling kind of proud of myself because I had to cut these. I had to cut this out to get that to line up. And then to put the next piece of this little trim up, I had to make a cut here. And boom. If you ever decide to do a false ceiling like we did and you need to reinforce it with some sort of trim, make sure that you mark where the beams are going to be under the trim. Uh, this provided, proved a little bit of a problem for us. Um, we measured 18 inches apart for each beam, but as you'll see in the next couple of frames, the beams aren't exactly even like that. And a stud finder didn't really work either for some reason. We made it work, but just a little warning. You can see here what I was talking about with the beams not exactly being 18 inches apart. Being a sunny day, we decided to put the ceiling on hold for a couple hours and get some white paint up. The girls helped tremendously. So in the style of Home Depot wood, we had a lot of strips that were just like bowed and putting paint on these. So ultimately, everything is going to need a second coat. Um, but the second coat's gonna come because I have to fill in the holes. I have to spackle in the holes and then I will do the second coat. But these actually are gonna need three. I put two coats on because the stamp that they put on the wood was so, I don't know. You were able to see it really well. Yep, had to speckle all 257 holes. And there are also holes in the blue stuff I have to fill yet. <laughs> You don't have to drill that in an angle. I was. Straight up. Yep. Nope. Straight up into that board. In the corner. As long as you're one inch. Otherwise, it'll go through the side. You want me to get you a thicker coat? You can, I mean, you're not using any. True. Thanks. Stop it. You can. Is that why you get your big hoopies on? Because you're doing uh, video editing? Or no, what? I put my hoopies on because probably because I was going home to go. Oh, gotta have hoops for Home Depot. Hoop dog. You're funny. Backwards on the ladder, that's an OSHA violation right there. Probably. And this was a whole day's project. I got all these little pieces in the middle. Up, down, up, down, up, down the ladder. Cut, recut, cut, recut. Anyhow, I got them to line up pretty straight. I was proud of myself. I got the job done and uh, it covered up those ugly seams.
and I am done. Time to celebrate. Now that you've endured my boring video, you owe it to yourself to go over and check out Haley Joe Johnson. I'll put a link in my description.